So today we're looking at this thing called the plant plugs cart. Plant plugs cart. That's going to be is um, for real over at uh, Nelson Nursery. My uncle, um, they plant a lot of flowers over there. A lot of flowers. And the ones they get come as small little seedlings. That's fine. Uh, called plugs. And the plugs come in baskets that look a lot like this here. It's a small little, they come curvers. Um, there's about four or five trays of plugs in this. And there's a little off a truck, bring them, plant them, and then there you go. But they want to make a way for this to be on a cart to be hauled from truck to a planting site a little easier. So here's your thought. Here's your thought. They're thinking of, hey, can we take and uh, build a cart that'll kind of go around this whole thing. I won't draw it very well because it's going to be one of those days. And you can put a caster wheel on it and a caster wheel on it and a caster wheel on it and some kind of a handle coming up the back, right? And stack like three or four or five of these things together because these here, this little, this little ridge here, see it? Um, on the bottom, you can't see, there's also a little same little profile that'll plug it. So you can stack these things about five, six, eight tall. So a cart to haul these things from truck to planting site. That's going to be our plan. Okay. So that's what they want. So they want some kind of a, a cart. Let's go back to that. Um, so some kind of a cart that's going to be square in shape. I want to add an angle iron because that way it's got the natural little lip to all four pieces so the curver won't fall out when you're transporting it. So if here's what it would look like angle iron to come in, got that, got that. So we'd have, whoa, how do we draw the angle iron? Oh, I know it comes, it'd be a, whoa, well, sorry. An edge here, another little lip across here and here, and that back corner, something like that. Well, here's the angle line, the vertical piece, flat piece, vertical, flat, the vertical, flat, vertical, flat. So that curver would plug, curver would plug right inside that, right inside that, okay? Uh, measurement wise, they know from, change colors here. They know from um, inside to inside, inside to inside, they want it exactly, exactly 16 inches wide. And from inside to inside, exactly 24 inches wide. So you got to build this bracket for them virtually, um, 24 by 16. Okay. They're going to want some way to fix a caster wheel to the bottom so they're thinking is could you guys cut um some four inch by four inch plates that are a quarter inch thick need four of these things four plates that are four inches by four inches by a quarter of an inch and we could weld one to the underside here we could weld one under there Weld one under here and under here, and that way we have a spot to put the caster wheel on. They want to weld this to the bracket, but bolt the wheel to this. In case the wheel breaks, unbolt, put a new wheel on. So they want four brackets, four by four by quarter inch. Okay. And the handle, they thought, um, they want out of square tubing, square tubing. Bad drawing, I apologize, but then again, hey, we're doing the best we can. Square tubing. Okay. Um, they want top sealed off, obviously. So the half lap has to happen here. So we'd have this watertight, because the nursery, they do a lot of planting, a lot of watering. If water gets in this tube, it's going to rust and it's going to break. That'd be bad. So they want to have 
like a half lap. Oops, where am I at? Half lap here and a half lap here. Lap joints, we, like the previous song we did. Okay, so lap joint, lap joint, that goes away. All right, and then maybe two across the middle, just for some extra support. All right, so there is kind of what it looked like in a really bad, bad, bad drawing of this. As far as the, the handle goes, um, so they want it on the narrow side. So the outside to outside of the tubing is, we don't want to go with 16, we want to go a little less for room for welding. So let's go, let's make the outside outside um, 15 and a half. That way we have a quarter inch here to weld and a quarter inch here to weld. So 15 and a half outside, outside. Um, as far as how tall should this be? They said, well, they're gonna put a four inch wheel on the bottom. So there's four inches plus your stuff, your brackets. They want the top this here be a nice comfortable standing height. So I said, want this to be 36 inches tall. So we're going to say, hey, how about let's go a 30 inch tall handle? So the handle height, handle height, 30 inches. So here we go. They want an inside measurement, 24 by 16, all going to be the lap joints, lap joints. They want four plates, four by four by quarter inch for all four corners. And they want the handle to be square tubing, 15 and a half inches outside to outside, 30 inches tall, lap joint so water won't get in, and then one across the middle for support. Okay, so there's gonna be our, our, um, our plan. What that means is, out here, we're gonna have to, again, Choose a template. Fat in inches, zoom out, let it do its thing. Start using the program. Let it come back around. Say yes to that. And I'll re shrink the screen just for so you can see what's going on here for you guys. And let it resize. We're going to open that same stock drawing. That same stock drawing. That way, it's the parts are there, angle lines there, and so is the tubing's there. So I'll get this open, and I'll be right back. So make sure it's all files on the stock file. Open it, and there it is. Well, we keep going a little bit, then I'll kind of let you guys work for a couple minutes on your own here. Well, they want to have angle iron base, twenty-four by sixteen. Um, these, how long are they? Do we know? Let's find out. Under your tool, you have something called dimensions. Dimensions. Okay. Don't click yet. Just hover. So go to this angle iron. Go near the back edge. Hover. See so it turns blue. Click, drag, drop. Oh, try it again. Click, drag, drop. This is one foot long. Tubing here. Hover. Click, drag, drop. Also one foot long. Well, I know I need to have uh, the cart is going to be a left and a right and a front and a back. So I'm going to grab these. I'm just going to copy and paste and zoom out. I'll put, I'm going to do all four copy paste. I'm going to keep my original as is. Let's bring in those four. Okay. So I need to make these longer. Well, the drawing wanted 24 by 16 inside to inside. Okay. What that means is, that means is, is if I have my angle iron, I have this be that long 24 inch piece, right? So if my 24 inch piece is uncut, 
and I make my end going to have that little half lap too. So the end's going to have, the end's going to have, I'm going to cut that side off. So my angle iron, I'll launch it over here instead. Um, so you can see it better, sorry. Over here so you can see it. I'm going to have, this piece is going to have, um, it's going to have angle iron come through this way. The vertical piece, right? But it's going to be the longer piece of angle iron. This won't be here, sorry. So remember that last time we did the half laps? We cut off part of the angle iron to fit. So now we have here is see this is a this little tab will cover this piece right here, won't it? Right? Try that again. Try that again. Hold on. So here we have I need um if I cut two pieces at 24 inches for left and for a right. So two at 24, one left, one right. The front and back, they're gonna be cut differently. They may cut like this. They're gonna have the long tab, and then the foot will come through here. So we're cutting off the bottom of the angle iron, the bottom of the angle iron, that way, Oh, don't do that. Did it again. Sorry. Can I undo that? Can't undo that. Dang it. Never mind. Um, the bottom is going to have that piece. Hold on. Well, so these are still 24 inches, right? This is going to be from here to here. We want to have the inside 16 inches, right? Make this for 16, it's gonna be too short. Why? Because this piece here is gonna land right there. It's gonna eat up that much of my angle iron. So this here, I gotta add on this thickness plus this thickness. We're using eighth inch angle iron. So if I go 16 inches inside measurement, plus this thickness, which is an eighth inch, plus this thickness, which is an eighth inch. I need to make this here two eighths, which is a quarter, 16 and a quarter inches. So if I make two at 24, two at 16 and a quarter. Okay, let's try that out, try that out. So back on my drawing, oh, come on mouse. Oops, sorry, on my drawing, this we know is 12 inches, right? How do I know that? Because I went tools, I went dimensions, and I hovered, click, drag, drop. Oh, come on. Click, drag, drop. Not gonna cooperate, is it? Try that again. There it is, a bunch of them. Camera's bad as all. Go away, go away, 12, okay. So I wanna make two at 24. How do I do that? Watch here. Push pull. 24 is what? Two feet, right? If I grab this end, drag, it was a foot. I'm going to go 12 more inches. Enter. Aha. Two feet. Good. These here are um, already, these here are already, hold on. Tools, dimensions, this one is a foot, which is 12 inches, right? 12 inches. I'm going to go with 16 and a quarter. Well, 12 plus 4 and a quarter is 16 and a quarter. I can lap this corner, lap that corner, plug it in, lap the corner, lap the quarter, plug it in, and get the frame figured out. So there's the starting of the frame of our project.